This is Bob Anderson from Factory Direct Modulars. I wanted to do a, an industry update for September 2021. I don't even think I did one in August. I don't remember. But anyways, uh, today is September 9th, uh, 2021. And uh, I want to address pricing, um, a little bit about factory production and a little bit about lending and then that's it just so let's get started i actually pre-started something you got to remember i i deal with um one big corporate factory and two company two uh family owned factories so what i decided to do is let's go with the big corporate one for this example that i'm going to use <clears throat> because Usually whatever the big dogs do, the rest of them kind of follow suit, you know, cause they're the leader. So what I did is I had run a spec on a, on a, uh, on a home just recently from, uh, this big factory. Um, and, uh, so I used the basis of their numbers for some of this. One of the things I can tell you is this factory is very large factory and they build about two and a half homes a day so normally when when they're fully staffed and whatnot so two and a half homes a day in our in our lingo is five floors we call them floors because if you got a module that's two pieces then it's two floors a single wide is one floor you know blah 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 so we call it five floors but for purposes here i'm going to call it homes which would be 2.5 homes per day on average when they're building their normal, their normal flow. So anyways, but they're not because of labor issues that we've talked about. And, you know, I mean, if, if you, if you have not heard of labor issues yet, regardless of housing, if you have not heard that yet, then I don't know what rock you've been living under. <laughs> Cause we got the problem in the auto industry. You got the housing industry, you got everything, everything. But anyways, uh, gross restaurants, grocery stores, blah, blah, blah. So, Today, let's just say they're building 1.25 homes a day, okay? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to say, well, let's look at this 1,280 square foot house that I just had quoted out. And I went through it and added piece by piece because the, the way they do their invoice for that home, they actually have line items and dates. And on those line items and dates, it gives the line item and date of the surcharges for the lumber and materials and that kind of stuff, okay? For the for the period we went where prices just taken off. So, anyways, I added up those five price increases, I believe it was, maybe six, and it was twenty-seven thousand five hundred dollars for a twelve hundred and eighty square foot house. The biggest one of them all was like May eleventh. It was like it was over ten grand. So, anyways, I said okay. Let's look at, let's, 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 if it's 27.5 and this is only a 1,280 square, square foot house, I'm going to use something simple. I'm going to use $30,000 on average for houses because that's what I'm seeing in my other factories, by the way. Most of my houses are normally 1,800 square foot, whatnot. So these surcharges are definitely higher than 27.5. So if the average house being built out of this factory has $30,000 in surcharges, let's just say. Okay, and they're building 1.25 homes per day at $30,000 a home. That means they're collecting $37,500 a day in surcharges. So if you have 20 days in a month and you have seven months of backlog, because that's where they're at, they're at seven months of backlog, you're talking about net 5.25 million dollars okay so that's what they have built into these these invoiced homes that are sitting in their that are sitting in their backlog to build they have 5.2 million dollars in surcharge for materials and whatnot so why do I bring that up well I bring that up because of this reason. Right now, lumber is sitting at about 600 bucks 
per thousand linear feet, which by the way is about what it was on election day in November of last year. It was right about 600 bucks. And that was before all these surcharges that, that really took off, as you guys may or may not remember, after January, which we all know what happened in January. So these surcharges have been packed into these invoices. Now, some of you may be going, well, then why aren't they taking the surcharges back? <laughs> um, because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why. Because if you have $5.2 million coming in and the orders are already there, why take the surcharges back? I'm just, I'm just telling you the battle that, that we're facing. I am your advocate. I am the one telling you what's really going on in the market. Okay. Now, is all that $5.2 million money that's going to hit the bottom line? No, because you got to remember one thing. They're still sitting at half production. They still have the same overhead level as they did when they had 2.5 homes per day that they're running 1.25 homes against. So are they actually walking away with an extra $5.25 million? No, it is definitely something less than that. Are they, are they losing money uh, on, a, on a daily basis? Oh, hell no, 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 they're not. But um, they're not making that 5.25 either. So that's kind of where that situation's at. And so I've said before in the past, and I'm going to be more emphatic about it right now. It's not just a matter of these lumber prices going down. Now, do, are the lumber prices helping me? Yes. Now I can build a deck for, you know, a more reasonable price than I could say, you know, four months ago. But, you know, that's about it. I'm still having to pay $30,000 more for a house that I, than I had to pay uh, before the election. And I don't foresee that going away because of this right here. Every time they make that decision to drip that $30,000 per home down, that's going across, let's say 1.25 homes a day times 20 days times seven months. They have to take that charge against a hundred and seventy five homes. And as orders keep coming in, they're not motivated to do that. So <clears throat> do I see it turning? Well, I had to order a house last week that I just was holding back. I have been holding back on my orders because I, I'll be honest with you. I want to squeeze the factories back and get our money back if you really want to know the truth. Anyways, when I did order that house last week, uh, Thursday, right before I went out of town, uh, I was told at that point in time I was the only one to order a house in, in the whole week. Uh, from that one particular factory. It's not this factory, but it's another one. So is that a good thing? I hope so. God, I hope so. I hope so for many reasons. Number one is a seven month production log is way too friggin' long. Number two, when all these materials do come back in line and everything, cause there's, you're, we're still overpaying. Don't get me wrong. The factory's still overpaying for stuff cause of supply chain issues and whatnot. But when it all comes back in line, I want that production line to be so short, they have to drop these prices. They have to give us our freaking money back, okay? But as of right now, there's no motivation. You can see this. If this was your business, would you be giving the money back when people keep ordering houses? No. So that's, that's I, I thought I'd at least put this in a financial, uh, you know, mirage here <laughs> so you can kind of see that even though the lumber index over here is dropping these things over here are not dropping and they're not dropping for 
Two reasons. One is there still is a huge labor issue. These factories are still running at half capacity and they really do need full capacity without the surcharges to make money because they're running on narrow margins when they're at full capacity and they're not, and they're not having these surcharges. They really are running on narrow margins. But at the end of the day, when you're running at half capacity, they're collecting every dollar they can to keep those factories making money. Um, and then as that backlog sits out there, what's the motivation of letting that $5 million go away? Anyways, um, so I thought I would at least bring that up so some people could, because I've had people messaging me, what about this, what about that, da 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 I think you need to understand what I'm up against and, and why it hasn't happened yet. Um, now keep in mind, if that average goes back up to two and a half, that seven turns to three and a half, just automatically turns to three and a half because now they're pumping out houses at the normal level. So hopefully not, pay, not paying people to sit at home and do nothing is gonna start moving this, this stuff forward. Um, you know, so that this, so that that 1.25 can turn more to two and a half and that'll help out also. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is we're still, because, because of all this labor issues and, you know, and the fact that there's seven month backlogs and whatnot, again, none of these factories want to talk about any customizations. Forget that. Don't have time for it, whatever. Um, so I really, I don't see that fixing itself for a while. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, is, um, on the lending side, I did just start my first couple, I did just start a, a construction perm, FHA, and another one, USDA. So that stuff's back and running again. And I just and I just got a, a draw, I just got a first draw check yesterday for another one. Um, so, I mean, the stuff's working again, which is good. That opens up more avenues, more opportunities for, for, for customers that wanna buy a house from us. We have more, more lending options, uh, more reasonable uh, lending options and all that kind of stuff. Um, lastly, I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to, to, uh, to discuss the fact that, um, <clears throat> you know, I sit here and it's September 9th and I already have slated for, for our company, for, you know, for our company, we already have slated more houses to build next year than we build them almost more houses as of September 9th than we built all this year. Um, which is just astounding because I haven't even gotten, I haven't even gotten to December. If these production lines shorten up, I mean, God, it's just, yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, the order is still coming in. Our concept becomes more and more uh, appealing to, to the consumers that we're targeting, um, you know, for our business model. And uh, so I just, I see some, I still see a lot of growth in our future and I haven't even rolled out some new things I'm gonna be doing next year. But anyways, um, I thought I'd get that out there that yes, the lumber index is down, still supply chain issues, still labor issues, and still, um, and then of course, backlog issues. And none of those are helping us. So I'll talk to you later. And uh, if you have any questions, message me, whatnot, and I'll uh, try to answer. Oh, by the way, I had surgery a couple weeks ago and I've had people message me and stuff and I was sitting in the freaking hospital bed and I have a brand new phone and I was, I thought I was putting the emails into, you know, into like a, for me to review later and I was deleting them. I didn't know that. So I deleted a bunch of emails that people had sent me asking me questions and whatnot and I couldn't even find them in my deleted files later. So if you sent me a message and I have not responded, please send me another one. I am so sorry. Talk to you later. Bye.